Okay, it is new guitar day. Well, not quite a guitar yet. It's a uh, guitar fetish body. And this is the unboxing. Again, one-handed, so it's not going to be the best. Okay, we have some bubble wrap. Could always use some bubble wrap. Now this is the neon green. I saw a video where someone did a neon pink and that was really bright. So this might be just as bright. So if you got sunglasses, put them on. Okay. This is the neck. This is the pick guard that I plan on using, and that came from AliExpress. They kind of, well, not AliExpress screwed me, but um, the shipping company that they use once it gets to the United States is a company called Uni Uni or Uni Express. They are terrible with their tracking and their updates. They claim they made three attempts to deliver it. The driver never left it at the door. I had a note on the door saying, uni, uni, leave at door. They claim they made three attempts to deliver it. He would have seen the sign and left it, but uh, clearly nobody showed up. So I called and complained to them, and about, I don't know, a couple of hours later, it showed up. So I don't know what's up with uni, uni, but I hope AliExpress stops using them. The pickups I got off of uh, Amazon, those are Fleor pickups. The only thing with this is I have to kind of enlarge the holes here because I got the covered pickups, so I gotta widen those out. And I got a pick guard that has no control holes because I want to place the controls where I want the controls. I never liked having a volume knob so close to the bridge pickup. I'm hoping this looks good on green. <laughs> okay. And we have another box. Alright. Now I gotta get my knife again. That's not gonna stand up. Bear with me here. Oop, okay. Screen. That is green. That is very green. Get that out of the way. Now, one thing I did ask them about was the post holes because those are pretty small and uh, someone at uh, Guitar Fetish did tell me that these are 9.13 millimeters so they're gonna have to be opened up a little more to accept the, the post mounts for a Floyd Rose. I think Floyd Rose is 10 millimeters so it shouldn't have to be opened up anymore. I have I have the post for a Godot, but those are 11 millimeters, and uh, that's that would be kind of stretching it to open it up to 11 millimeters since it's right up against the wood right there. So I'm going to have to go with Floyd Rose. Well, let's see what this might look like. Also have a gold uh, input jack plate, gold tuners, gold uh, strap buttons, and I'll be getting a gold Floyd Rose special. Now, the neck. 
is one of the guitar fetish necks that have a locking nut shelf. And I am not going to be able to do this with one hand. Okay, look at the guitar for a bit. down for one second. Frit neck. And these peg holes are 8 millimeters, but I have um, Geiger tuners that are 8 millimeters, so they should fit in there no problem. If they don't, well, just have to widen those out too. I'm wondering if I should just keep the headstock like this, or if I should try to find some matching paint and make this green. So let me know in the comments what you think. There's the shelf drilled for a rear mount locking nut. Yeah, the camera just made that look so uh, slanted. <laughs> no sharp frets, that's good. That, that one right there, slightly. A few on this side, but they won't be coming into contact with me. So, let's see. All right. Yeah, I think that headstock might have to be green. Hopefully I can find some paint at AutoZone or maybe even Home Depot that can color match it. I'll have to bring the body with me. But I think it'll look good. I think the pick guard does go with this bright green. It does add some contrast. Uh, I'm not going to do an assembly video because I can never assemble this while holding a phone. I don't have a tripod, I don't have expensive cameras and stuff like that, so uh, the next time you see it, it's going to be all put together. Thanks for watching.